Requiem eternam, dona eis domine, et ux perpetua, lucea teis. The repertoire we've chosen for this disc comes from the Franco-Flemish Renaissance and it's very attractive to us as an ensemble because it seems to fit our unique vocal makeup so well. It's a very dense texture and we are a very tightly knit ensemble of voices very close together in range so that's a very attractive to us. I think it's uh, great to be in a space that we can play with. It is an acoustic that's very much like playing an instrument. We as singers respond to the space we're in. The shape of the space, the materials of the space, um, color the tone, and we react to each other and the music and the sounds that we're making, and that influences the decisions we make, whether it's tempi or articulation or even tone color. So I think that you'll hopefully hear some of the beauty of this space in the music we're making and the choices we're making because it's been uh, an experience that for us has been magical. Recording here has been a very different experience from others I've had as a singer. For a start, it's quiet. We've had about three takes that have been ruined by noise in four days, which is pretty much unheard of. Um, the noise floor outside, for those um, audio geeks out there, the noise floor is about zero, whereas in New York City it's about 40 dB. Um, I was particularly excited to find that we would each be getting our own large diaphragm condenser microphone by Neumann, um, which is really exciting. So performing and recording are quite different. Um, for me, as a performer, um, I, I thrive off of performance, and um, getting energy from an audience is a wonderful thing. The thing that recording has allowed us to do is, uh, with the help of a fantastic engineer, um, it's allowed us to take a lot more risk in specific passages that we would not necessarily do in a performance. One particular example, um, in the Tristitia Obsedite by Clemens, there are certain passages that are very, very soft on the recording. Um, in performance, we might not necessarily do it that soft depending on the space, depending on the size of the audience, depending on a variety of factors that we don't know are going to be present until the day we arrive in the space. Um, the benefit of recording is that we really have the time and the ability to take more risk.
Finally, we are performing and recording a commissioned piece written for the ensemble by Jackson Hill, who's from Pennsylvania in the United States. And it is based on um, a rondo by uh, the medieval composer Macho, Ma fa et mon commencement, My End is My Beginning, which finishes the record, a uh, contemporary piece at the end, which uh, mirrors the opening track, the chant in Paradisum, which actually ends the Requiem Mass in its liturgical forms. We end with a contemporary piece, which is written for the ensemble.